We continue our haunted Tennessee special by taking you into a bowling alley where unusual things seem to happen. Those who know this bowling alley also claim to know the ghosts within it. See if you believe for yourself. 75 miles from Nashville in Warren County sits McMinnville, Tennessee, a town established more than 200 years ago with history and stories, some of them ghost stories. I feel like he's attached to this for some reason. This is one of those stories, and to tell it, we take you to KP's McMinnville Lanes, a bowling alley to many, to believers, a home to a member of the spirit world. There was one night he was really insistent about banging. Normally, the bangs come from bowlers or the game room with its sounds and flashing lights. But when it slows down here, people leave and the lights go low. Strange things seem to happen. And you know there's nobody here but you, and all this banging and stuff is going on. I mean, it's, it's creepy, I won't lie. Betty Perry owns the bowling alley and everything in it. Aside from the spirit, she calls Sammy. She claims her granddaughter saw the ghost in a storage room. Perry says the intercom goes off inexplicably when no one else is in the building. And perhaps the most unnerving, late at night, long after the final frame, fairly often, she'll hear this. Full disclosure, we staged that for the purpose of our story. But later during our shoot, we didn't have to. Because as Perry says, If you spend much time here and you stay here late at night, you will believe, I promise you. The story goes decades back. A tombstone was found underneath the floor in a back office. The only thing legible on it, the name Sammy. And Sammy seems to spend most of his time roaming the pit area behind the lanes. He said he felt like he walked through something. Almost like a, yeah, a melted plastic feeling or something, something. Wiley Simmons once owned the alley, and he's been bowling here since he was a kid. Simmons was our tour guide. That's his dwelling, basically. It's just where he's uh, comfortable with. Into the dark depths to find Sammy. So, so I open this door. Mm -hmm. And this is actually the mechanics room when we're stepping in. There we go. Once inside, we have it lit with our equipment, but it is dark. Just for effect, I'll turn off the light. We'll see just how dark it really is back here. Okay, so we're on our way to the pit area. It's complete. It's just about it's complete. Dark. It was a dark. second ago. Then mere moments later, things got weird. So this is the area where we're thinking paint, uh, pins might get tossed about. Right behind the lanes here to our right. Yeah, we're being around. Knocking just a second ago. Really? That was my photographer Al, who noticed a noise. Okay, we might be hearing something. It's That's... sort of faint. Stunned, we point the camera down the pit to investigate. That sounded like a pin going off, actually. It's dark, eerie, and to us, unknown. He made sure out up here in the floor in front of him. That and wasn't there it. before, was it? No, sir. Until now, the pin wasn't there, and neither was anybody else. We found what we feared. But how did it get here? Show Betty right now. What do you, what do you think? I think he wants you to know he was here. <laughs> When the machines are off, the pins are held in two places, high up in the machine or deep inside of it. They should not move. But you're if putting half two feet down yeah. here. There's a whole lot of machinery getting in the way. There's no way it's just going to come out mm -hmm. unless I say someone or something physically picks it out, goes and yep. tosses it down the way right there. And that sound right there, I've heard being in here at night by myself, and it sounds like it does exactly that. So is that what we heard? Was Sammy behind the lanes with us, warning us he was close by? It felt like it. Because it's late at night, yep. I'm a little more cautious, squirmish, yep. suspicious. But never felt threatened in any way, never felt, you know, I could get hurt, never, none of that. Before we leave, maybe another sign. Sammy, one more for good measure. Good, wouldn't it? He's probably laughing at us now. Maybe laughing, hopefully smiling, and pleased by our visit. Because if he's here, these hallways belonged to Sammy long before any business owner. We were his guests for his game at his bowling alley. We've added uh, more behind the scenes video on our website showing our reaction after this visit from Sammy. To find it, look for this story at WKRN.com.